Brandy. Brandy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Faith, just so I've got so you're okay for me to use the video now. Okay. You felt a bit of trust or something, you felt that okay. Uh, Faith, how 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 old are you, Faith? I'm thirty nine. Thirty nine and and Faith, you're here in front of the coals at the corner. Um, yeah. Yes. How did you get it on the street, Faith? Okay, well I am house at the moment. I'm waiting on my own house. Yeah. Um, as I'm getting old I'm getting really frustrated that I need my own self environment. Um I'm willing to move up to the country. I I, I love a new atmosphere at the moment. Um in Victoria, I have never been out of state. Um, I speak to many people that are uh, from Sydney, and I'd like to go to the Blue Mountains where I've got a family member, and none of them really like Sydney, and they think it's all hectic and blah blah blah. Which still, I haven't changed my mind about Sydney. I would love to go there eventually when I'm a bit more stable. But yeah, I do want my own house. Um, so, what's the situation? You you have housing? I'm with someone at the moment, um, but it's not my own. Yeah. Right. It's not my own house. Right. I've, you know, I pay board. Um, it's kind of isolated because I can't have anyone over. Okay. You know. um, so what do you do? I do my washing there and um, I try and stay sane. Actually. Right. So what are you doing here on the street tonight? Yeah, just a bit I'm having my caramel sundae from Henry Jacks, which is out of those Uno picks um, that you. It's a promotion at the moment, you win free things, and I have to have a pick-me-up thing of sugar because um, my, I'm borderline diabetic at the moment, so, um, which is, I hope I don't actually... How, how long have you been on the street, Faith? Doing this, I've been a, a while. How long? Um, roughly, I don't know. I, I don't get it now. I try, you know what, the time goes fast. Yeah, 10 years? 5 years? No, less, less. 5 years? Well, I would say. So what happened? How did you get in this situation, Trey? Um, I think I got a lot of depression, and I've bottled up a lot inside. Uh, my immune system is getting really low. Um, I've got a little bit of bulimia, and I just tried. I've tried to keep it, but it just keeps coming back, and I can't. I've got a lot of things up, so I would say I'm easy that way, getting depression. Um, I actually, you wouldn't think I do have it, but real, because real, I speak to real, a lot of everyone real, else and I make them feel still. better, but at the end of the day, I still feel shit. Yeah. So when you came along, I had my headphones on, I was listening to a bit of music, um, mixed music, um, maybe 40. Um, it makes me feel better, but I, was, I just want a new environment. I need to what was your situation? Were you married? Did you have a job? Were no, you... um, I was a kitchen hand girl, um, food service, so I'm going to change so I get to have a No, no, no. Um, I've never been married. I've had one serious boyfriend, um, his name was Brandon, and um, so we parted and just stayed friends kind of thing. It was nothing. Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, you, you worked for a while? Yeah. So what happened there? Um, I just left. I think my new system was getting really wretched. Um, which is, I can't grow out of getting head. I actually grow, used to get a lot of migraines and I've grown out of that just. I used to rely on a lot of, what, codeine for that. Um, I wasn't an addict, but like, I couldn't just take a Panadol and my headaches would go away. Um, so I can now do that. After I had a blood poisoning from my tooth, yeah, I got a tooth removed and I had, I, I left the dentist and I waited I think 10, 15 minutes. I was so thirsty, I had a Portello and I didn't think anything, I just felt like shit, you know, when you get your tube taken out and it's really very painful. And a seizure. Do you have any uh, income from the government or um, any other source? I do a little bit. But, yeah. Bit of what, bit of Centrelink? Bit of... Um, no. I've, I've still got a little bit of savings. Um, okay. Do you have any family or friends you can help you? I, I, I have friends. Some of them have got a lot of kids and they're still they're struggling too. I don't want to be a burden. Um, do you know what I mean? I, do they know you're in the situation? Have yeah, you they asked do. Them? They do. Um, but compared to others, I count myself very lucky. Like, you know, I, which is, I know a lot of people that I see actually in the street 
haven't been put up to get any housing at this province. You know, a while back at King Street, they had the scaffolding, they had all these people who come and sleep there, and none of them got housing. Um, I know Hosey Lane, or I call it real last name, Hosey Lane, um, they do help with lunch and salvos, and I don't know if you've heard about it, Grill at Spencer Street, which is on Tuesdays every month, Tuesdays from 4 to 8. Um, any burger, any chips you want. Yeah, at, at Grill. At Grill, at Spencer Street, yeah. So that's every month, the first Tuesday. Um, and that's sponsored by... Uh, I don't know who's sponsoring it. Um, but it's, a new, it's been there for a while. So the queue's long, but the service is great. What are your prospects for the um, near future, Faith? Okay. Probably, oh, as I was saying, how I've got my lung strain, sorry, back to that, I had, uh, had to have an operation, so I had cerebral pneumonia. So you have to say that again, okay. Oh, so as I was saying earlier, I had a tooth um, extracted, um, I had blood poisoning that went into my lung, and I went to the Royal Melbourne, God love them, which is a nice hospital. Um, so they told me that I had to have an operation, so I had an operation just right near my rib, and they put the drainer in and like, oh, like I was saying, all that poor talent is yeah. coming back out. Um, but that's when my headache started to stop. So I could only, because they give you a lot of Panamax, so they source for Mendone or Pentamax. But I could now take just the Panadol for my headaches, which is amazing. So I don't get as much bad migraines, but I still get on the chest infection. Yeah, so what are your prospects? What are my prospects? Yeah. Um, well, I don't drive. I love to have a driving foot, but I think if I ever felt like I drove, I wouldn't want to be in Melbourne. I really don't like Melbourne, but I like the people. I would get homesick, but my prospects would be to probably find myself a companion. Um, no children in the car, but I don't think I can have children. My menstrual system is really bad. I was getting my period weekly at one stage, which was bringing me down a lot. Um, so that's kind of gone back to normal, just. Um, get a lot of cramps. Um, so I, I'm not sure. I try and take it day by day. And meet a lot of people, like, you know, um, see a million faces. You know, um, so where are you sleeping tonight? Um, at a relative. Okay. Yeah. So you do have relatives who are helping you out a bit? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I won't say they say that. Okay. Now where'd you get the name Faith? Are you from a religious home or? Uh, Faith, true. Um, that's just my name. Like, yeah. I've got a um, yeah, I wouldn't change my name. I'm very proud. Um, okay. Sometimes they call me Smiley. Um, and I'm a Collingwood supporter, so I've got to add that in. Um, <laughs> I've had two wins, so that's why I'm wearing my scarf. I love to wear it. Um, I don't have a rugby team, guys, but I do love watching the rugby show. And Faith, how do people on the street walking by tend to treat you? Uh, lovely. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I tend to say hello to everyone. I, sometimes I'm bad with names, but I do see the same people a lot. Um, so I'm going to remember your name, but, um, but no, um, sometimes a lot of people go out of state and they come back and we all catch up. So Do you have any, ever had any instances of people treating you nastily, badly? Um, I've had verbal abuse, but yeah, like not what? intentionally. Okay, like what? Yeah, um, okay, for example, uh, about two weeks ago I was at Henry Jack's and there was a fight between a two fellas broke out and you know I said like I tried to I didn't try to get them to break be a hero I just said you know because uh, they were right at the door at Henry Jack so I just told them like come on guys it's not necessary like and they were too random I, you know I had my back turned and uh, that happened um and the other person turned around and goes oh fucking shut up you know um f this and f that and then I went inside and I said oh fair enough alrighty and and um Everyone, just random people just started fighting each other. So I had a gig and, you know, the person had apologised to me and said, you know, they thought I was with that person starting the fight. And, yeah. The people on the street who walk by you, they tend to be quite nice to you. Yeah. Okay. Very, yeah. So you don't get 
verbal or no, 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 okay. not, not assaulted. No, but okay. um, in Elizabeth Street here, there's always some kind of action going on. The mm. uh, police bring out their horses and their divvy vans. But it's, you know, always an outsider or something or, um, yeah, something like that. It's okay. nothing direct on anyone, no okay. games that I've, I've experienced. Okay. Um, so no one gets singled out. No one's a threat that I think. It's just happens between the two mates. I've seen, oh, another time I've seen actually four friends, males, they all go to dreams, which is a good club across the road. And they started having a fight over... A vape. Yeah, it was a vape and a cigarette. And they they walked out with their arms around each other, and um, one friend went on the other friend, and that was a little piece of action everyone had to dig at. Um, that everyone, you know, the other friend tried to stop, and then he got hit by the other guy. That was his own friend. And yeah, so that broke up before yeah. any police could come in. Do you feel safe when you're out here on the street? I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. I do. Uh, I, yeah, I would say I feel safe. Um, I feel safe also with having the barricades up for no one can drive through like a maniac like that several years ago that fellow had drived on the footpath and injured a lot of people. Um, and a lot of people feel the same thing. Like as soon as these barricades um, went up to the tram, a lot of people felt better crossing the road, even though, you know, they just felt safe. Because like, okay. you can drive where the 7 mm. up on the other set, uh, on the other side, and yeah. Or you know what, sometimes they might have the old moon slide down, and you know, one, one Sheila I heard yell out of her car saying, oh, you know, anyone like the head job. I'm like, holy oh, shit, which has been sarcastic. Um, I think, yeah, it was just silliness and sometimes, you know, yeah, that's the only, nothing serious. Okay. Nothing bad, I would have to say. Okay. Compared to other states and cities, I would have to say Melbourne has got a goal or not. I think personally, but yeah. But I think these people were either, you know, rushing past on their bike with their helmet and they just felt like saying that or... I, I never really asked because I I made me wonder things too much like you know what, what impression you know like and you know yeah I just wanted to get that straight. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, and thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for your time. No worries. As I'm scrolling through your website, <laughs> it's okay. Um, in the past I've actually come across this website, believe it or not. Okay. Um, that's great so they help you out as well yeah okay so Fred, i'm just making absolutely sure just so i've got this so you are now comfortable with me using your video fantastic thank you again very much no need to wave i'll do it one more time you don't no need to wave we'll go past the mcdonald's how much longer are you going to be out tonight um only two hours i'll be going so you're going to go home after midnight Okay. Fridays and Saturdays trains are all night. Okay.